You are watching TFI. Greetings, <laughs> salutations, welcome to TFI, where today uh, I noticed some news drop from a couple of days ago. You'll have seen the title and the thumbnail. Uh, there's some big news dropping. PTC have acquired on shape. And in, in, in a move that has raised both my eyebrows higher than they were last year when I last looked at Onshape, where I, just, I haven't looked at it in a year, but back then I was not impressed with it. It was not very modern. Uh, it wasn't very feature rich. And the pricing plans that they had were extortionate and just not great value in comparison to what else you can get for that kind of money. But none of that matters anymore, in my opinion. It doesn't matter how many features Onshape has, doesn't matter how good it is. I think this is the end for Onshape. Let's take a look at the statements that have come out. I have read these previously in, a, in, a, in an old take, and it took like 20 minutes. So I, I, can't, I can't do that. You, you can see them on screen uh, or look at them yourself. Uh, I'll just read out the, the main points of note here. So this is the PTC statement to their stakeholders. On 23rd of October 2019, PTC announced that it has signed an agreement to acquire Onshape uh, for $470 million. Wow ridiculous for what it is a platform that unites robust CAD with powerful data management and collaboration tools that is absolutely up for debate the acquisitions expect to accelerate PTC's ability to attract new customers uh, that's a red flag and pending approval it should be wrapped up in November so Onshape was founded in 2012 by tech legends John Hirschdick and other former executives of SolidWorks. Onshape, is, that's also very key. Onshape has secured more than $150 million in funding from venture capitalists. That's a, what a profit, mate. What a, that is genius business. Raised $150 million, sold for $470 million. The words cash grab jumps to mind, but who's not jealous of that? And Onshape has amassed more than 5,000 subscribers from around the world. That was the biggest red flag for me. And that's kind of what's made me think that this is not what it appears to be. They have 5,000 subscribers from around the world. So that's the PTC statement. I'll dissect that in a bit. This is the statement from John Hirschdick to the Onshape community. Uh, I'm pleased to share with you that Onshape has ended a definitive agreement to be acquired by PTC. This is an exciting next step for my bank, but sorry, for Onshape that will help us broaden the scope of what we deliver to you and broaden my pension, sorry, and broaden our reach in the market to bring Onshape to more users even faster. Uh, you'll expect the, the same levels of a response from the customer support that you've come to expect. And PTC is a $1 billion a year global company with a long history in product development. Uh, yeah, uh, here is some additional things I want you to know. There's no change to Onshape's pricing plans today. That, I guarantee, will not be the case in a year. Uh, there's no change to our points of contact, same levels of support, same frequency of updates. We've not been acquired yet. You'd be basically half. You wouldn't be releasing statements like this if, it, if there was any chance of it falling through, or else it'd be hell on and all kinds of investigations. But yeah, so that's the obligatory statement from the owner of Onshape to, to make sure that panic doesn't ensue and nobody j tries to jump ship immediately. This is the statement from the CEO and president of PTC to their stakeholders. Uh, yeah, so, okay. None of the, I mean, it makes sense. It's a $470 million power, uh, acquisition uh, for a product that PTC wanted. But the red flag for me was the 5,000 subscribers. Bear in mind, so first off, PTC are not buying on shape for on shape. They're not buying on shape for their customers because 5,000 users is woefully low for, for a product that's, I mean, in its own right, on shape for, as a startup, that's brilliant to get 5,000 subscribers. They're not clear whether that's 5,000 paying subscribers or 5,000 paying and free subscribers. Are you a subscriber if you're if you're not paying for it, I don't know. It's not. It's not clear. But as a for, as a startup, that's great. From PTC's point of view, if you look at the likes of how many people they'll have using Creo, PTC have probably got two or three accounts combined that are using five thousand Creo licenses. Uh, you know, they're probably in the millions globally. People using Creo. So we're talking millions of users of the big CAD program. Onshape had five thousand. I don't think PTC are buying Onshape for that. If, just to reaffirm that, right, 470 million, at best, you had 400, right, let's just, get, let's whip out the calculator and do some basic maths here. On Shape's middle pricing plan was $2,100 per year. At best, this is at best, and absolutely not the case, if they had 5,000 licenses of $2,100 a year, that's 10.5 million 
a year annual recurring revenue. It would take PTC 47 years to get a return and just break even on this investment. And that's at best if 5,000 people are paying 2,100 a year. If 5,000 people are paying 1,500 a year, that's 7.5 million a year. That's even more time required to get a return on the investment. Of course, they've got the enterprise plan, but even combining 5,000 with all three of those pricing plans, you are nowhere near 470 million, nowhere near it. So then they're not acquiring the current customer base because it's a drop. Even if they were to convert 5,000 current on-shape licenses to Creo, they're not gonna recoup 470 million anytime soon. In my opinion, PTC are acquiring Onshape because they want the staff and they want the infrastructure. The people who are using Onshape, absolutely, unfortunately, it's gonna hurt. The people who are using it for free, they are collateral, it's business. PTC aren't gonna give a toot about you, about your data, about anything you've done in the past, about your feelings, about, you know, that's gonna affect your business. They're not gonna care. When they've put $470 million into an acquisition, that you, they'll just bulldoze you. They'll just straight up just demolish any feelings and uh, sadness that you have about potentially losing your, your free on shape. PTC aren't gonna give a toot. They're gonna to wanna to return on this investment pretty quickly. And if you're not paying for on shape after it's been around for the many years that it's been around for, they're not gonna hold on hopes that you're gonna potentially pay, start paying for it. And just and also bear that, just more facts that kind of, re, not facts, but just, I guess, perceptions that reaffirm this for me. Onshape was founded in 2012. It went public in roughly 2014, 2015. So it's been available to subscribe to for about four or five years. So they've got a customer procurement rate of around 1,000 customers a year or 1,000 licenses, people per year. Look at any other walk of life where you get, f I mean, my bake local bakery down the road probably gets more people through its door than that. Do you know what I mean? And then 470 million to buy that kind of a business. Then they're not buying the the, the product. They're not buying the, the the people who are using it. They're buying the staff and they're buying the infrastructure. And honestly, within a year, they're gonna, they'll, they'll just bulldoze this and it'll be gone. On shape, as you know, it will be gone. It'll be a module within Creo. It'll be a module within Windchill. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't, you know, nobody knows really, but they can't keep it going the way it is right now without it seriously changing it and overhauling it to start recouping some of that 470 million. I mean, maybe they'll, it's it's not unknown for companies to acquire staff and infrastructure for that that amount of money and then just completely delete the product altogether and then just amalgamate those resources into their current organization and they see that as an investment in their current product line. Uh, with the new staff and infrastructure on board. But I, I wanted to go over a couple of the statements inside the, the, the PTC statement, which I don't really agree with, and I've got lots of thoughts on, but it's probably for a different video. But this guy's blithering on about how software as a service eliminates the need for costly server hardware. You don't have costly server hardware with a CAD license. That's not a thing. That They're just words to try and justify this whole product in its own right. And no, latest software, no need for administrators to implement patches. You always need administrators within a CAD system. You can't have a self right You can't have users self-regulate themselves in big in big companies. It doesn't work like that. You're always going to have administrators, so it's not removing the administrators. I could talk about that for hours. This is not the video for that, but I just thought there was a couple of strange statements in here which contradicted uh, actual reality. Anyway, mate, that's that's it. That's all I've got. There'll be, there'll be a lot of people who disagree, I suppose, and that's fine. I'm not speaking the truth. This is just my opinion. I'm not a lawyer. I am not an analyst. It's just my take on the information that's come out. Uh, but it's not looking good for Onshape. I'd be very surprised in a year if you're still able to use Onshape for free and if it's not completely blended into the PTC ecosystem because they need to start recouping 470 million and they ain't doing that with 5,000 people, even at $2,100 a year. And they're not doing it if you're not paying for it either. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about all I've got, mate. But that's the news. Possibly time to start looking at Fusion 360, mate, if you're an on-shape user. Anyway, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.